the seven, the world's greatest superhero team the world has ever seen. And today's combatant is none other than Black Noir. On a mission in Nicaragua, he wanted to negotiate his role on the seven. I'm going to take a more central role on the team than... I want to lose the mask. Silent Ninja score extremely high with boys under 10 years old. The mask lends a certain mystique. Well, fuck mystique. People don't even know it's me under this thing. I gotta wear it just to get a cap. And then he basically got threatened he would be sent to more cold if he didn't want to put on the mask. Not wearing the mask. Your choice. Though once you're farmed out to Minneapolis St. Paul, you'll want the mask. Simply for one. And then a terror attack happened that left Black Noir scarred and mute. So maybe after all, he should have actually worn the mask. So after all of this, let's finally get down to Black Noir's stats. Noir has been able to dodge Homelander's heat vision from the Mach 1000 era. He's also going to see from the Plays the greatest survival for surviving this world. And he was completely fine. He's also been able to take Hicks from Billy Butch with a crowbar and would have killed him if it was not for his boss. This is once a word. <coughs> now, of course, the comics are non canon, so that's not going to be important. So, I think it's time to get to the conclusion of this bad boy and figure out who wins. Move the wind and you'll never be heard. It's a favorite crow from today's combatant, Snake Eyes. Prior to his recruitment by Hawk into the G.I. Joe, Snake Eyes served in Special Ops prior to j Shock for the Army's Delta Force. One of Snake Eyes and Scarlet's missions, a hostage rescue mission, their helicopter engine installed and the pilots ordered the bail. Scarlet's trapped and Snake Eyes hit on board and tried to save her. But one of the aviation fuels ignited and blasted through the cap on hitting Snake Eyes in the face, which disfigured him and damaged his vocal cords, causing Snake Eyes to become mute like he usually is. But, or you know, you can go with the um, Renegade route where he gets throat sliced open by Storm Shadow. The death of Snake Eyes' parents in a car accident is what prompted his journey to Japan in the first place. Under the tutelage of Hardmaster, Storm Shadow and Snake Eyes trained side by side. However, Snake Eyes' ability quickly surpassed that of Storm Shadow. But one fateful night in a private training session with Snake Eyes and Hardmaster, an arrow flew through the dojo window and killed Hardmaster, fired by a member of Cobra named Zartan. Zartan had stolen that arrow from Storm Shadow and tried to frame him for murder, but the arrow was intended for Snake Eyes. Now, of course, there have been issues where Snake Eyes has been killed or has died before, but after all of this has been said, I think I should actually start trying to break down Snake Eyes' stats and numbers here. Snake Eyes has been able to outrun Automatic Gunfire, which runs around Mach 2 to Mach 15, but he's also been able to dodge to me much faster, in fact, this being lasers, such as this thing. Lasers? Where did they get lasers? He's also been able to survive this explosion on top of this 2.50 ton rocket launcher explosion. So in the end, don't mess with the G.I. Joe's most silent, but most deadly member. In conclusion, Snake Eyes should be better skilled and better experienced than Black Noir. He should also take the arsenal advantage over Black Noir as well. For speed, you could say Snake Eyes is faster, judging off this statement right here. Lasers? Where did they get lasers? But more realistically, he's around Mach 2 to Mach 15. But for Noir, he's a lot faster, judging from this Mach 1000 feet right here. Which puts Noir a lot faster than him. For durability, there's this feat, what he was fine by, but that does not compare to Snake Eyes' 2.50 ton explosions. Which makes it more durable. For the comics, they're not canon, so don't 
bother bringing them up. And if I were to, the same thing applies to Noir. These are canon, but not to the cell which I'm using. For striking strength, Snake has this feat, which puts him around 15 tons of force. And scaling the water queen maybe of this statement. I really did break every bone in my right arm. What? Stopping the bus from falling? You said the marketing guys made it up. And buses can average weigh 5 to 15 tons. And you have this feat, which puts her 0.15 tons to 0.25 tons of durability. So in all fairness, with Snake Eyes' greater speed and greater durability, greater experience, and greater training, I think Snake Eyes is the winner. This was the next time I wanted to give a special thank you to everybody who just watched. I really appreciate it and enjoy the next time. Rush of adrenaline, we are young, we are strong, we will